Okay, uh, I bought a new scope, this is it. So I asked on Twitter, I did a poll um, of which oscilloscope I could get out of some options. And it turns out I didn't, <laughs> it's none of those options. Uh, so I was looking at this Handtech DS5025, I think that's right. Uh, which is like a 200 pound scope and uh, it was on eBay. It could be hacked up to 200 megahertz. The two channel scope. Um, I was also looking at a Rigol. Uh, I can't remember, it's 1054Z I think. And that's a four channel scope, but um, that's like 400 pounds. And then I sort of sent around an email to some companies. Let's turn it on, shall we? Um, so to some companies to find out if they had any like secondhand stock or ex demo units or, or whatever. So I sent an email off to Keysight because they have their new 1000X, don't they? And um, I sent one off to Rigol. Uh, I sent an email off to uh, Siglent and another company that I now can't remember. But um, Siglent emailed back and said, yeah, they've got a, an X lab unit that they could send me. Um, and so this is it. Um, they didn't say, I, I paid for it. I bought it for 170 pounds, including the, the cost of doing a direct bank transfer abroad. So this is the scope I got and it represents pretty good value. It, there is a little bit of a problem with it in that it's slightly out of spec, but um, we can fix that. We can just do our own calibration on it. So I'll show you. Uh, I think I've got it set up weirdly here, but uh, I don't even know what channel, oh, it's on channel. Let's just do auto setup. And um, we'll throw this on channel one. I don't know how the screen on this is gonna come across. So let's throw that on there. And we'll stick the probes on the calibration one kilohertz square wave. and the ground. So you can see there's our, what is all this information? Uh, oh, I've got it on a measure thing default. Oh no, I don't remember how to get rid of, oh, there we go, it's done it. Okay, and so that's coupled incorrectly. So let's do an auto setup. It's beautiful, isn't it? I really like it. So I'll change the horizontal here. So can you see that there? So this is our um, this is our square wave. If I just throw the position, it's hard to do this with the camera where it is. See if we can get a whole one of these in. You see, it's a little bit rounded off there, isn't it? Um, and the information I got from Siglent is that I need to nip inside, change some trimmer capacitors in there um, that are on the analog section. So let's just see if it, should we see if it's the same on, uh, on channel two? I don't know whether it's, see, I don't know much about scope, so I'm not going to try and claim that I know loads, but uh, I don't know whether I'm going to have to do it on both or not. But um, as I recall in my old scope, I had a little pot that I could turn or a little, uh, tuning thing that I could turn on the uh, the probe itself. So I'm going to put it on channel two. Let's turn off channel one. There we go. And I'll zoom in. Uh, why aren't you triggering? Oh, there we go. That's better. See, yeah, this one's a little bit rounded off as well. So I'm going to assume that they were right in what they told me, but this is my new scope. Isn't it cool? It's got uh, USB for capture. It has an ethernet port on the back so you can remote control it, which is pretty awesome. It's only two channel. I'm not really worried about that. I've pretty much only ever used one channel on my scope and it's just to look at power supply noise um, or look at signals. Um, this one has serial decoding, UART decoding, um, and SPI, I think, um, built in. So no need to hack anything. I don't really know how it all works yet. So this is not a review. I'm just excited. So I thought I'd show you. Uh, but yeah, this is it. This is my new scope.
that I'm very excited about. Um, if anyone knows about this issue, apparently it's common um, with the, the input stage, uh, with the having to adjust it, then I'd love to know, but I will investigate it myself. And then when I find out, we'll do a little video of me going inside. That's why I bought that anti-static strap, so I can go inside this and not feel too bad about it. Anyway, it was only meant to be a quick little, I'm really excited video, but uh, all of this will, uh, will come later on. Don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> it's just too cool. I just literally just, I've never had anything that looks that cool. We've got a little bit of an, like an overshoot there. I don't know if you can see that, it's weird. Not sure what I'm doing here, I'm on the wrong channel. Is there a zoom button? Yeah, there is. I don't know, I'm getting carried away. Anyway, I just wanted to say, ah, there it is. All right, I'll speak to you guys later.